Good morning friends and welcome to the pre-market session. Friends, we are entering one of the most uh, crucial week in terms of events uh, lined up one after the other. Uh, first uh, wrap up on the global markets, uh, US markets were extremely strong. In fact, they had a three day rally on the back of good set of data uh, coming out. The uh, US non-farm payroll data was much better than expected and unemployment data was even better which uh, helped the sentiment. Uh, European markets also were largely good uh, barring a couple of markets. Uh, but what is important is that the second bailout uh, disbursement of Greece will happen in the couple of days. So whether it uh, goes smoothly or not is something which we will have to watch out for. Uh, in terms of the domestic events, we had uh, unexpected and higher CRR cut by the RBI before the actual policy review meet and they actually cut the CRR by about 75 basis points which means that almost 48,000 crore would be uh, put into the system but what is more important from a market standpoint is in the next policy meet whether <clears throat> we are going to see any further uh, rate cut or no is something which we will have to watch out for some of the people believe that now that the RBI has gone ahead and cut the CRR, they may not really uh, cut the repo rate as is widely expected uh, till we see some kind of a softening of the in inflation and overall comfort zone is there. Also friends, the OMO operations which the RBI has been doing, if they do not uh, uh, support, then probably the yields may not really come down, though the liquidity in the system uh, may improve. So this is something which is not uh, very clear, but we had already seen a good amount of action in the banking stocks on Friday. Most of the banks were up about 5 to 7 percent. And uh, given the fact that the uh, uh, CRR cut happened after the market, we would see a pop up of about uh, 2.5 to 3 percent for banks. So we will check with our uh, FNO and technical uh, experts as to what one should be doing in the banking stocks uh, uh, given this development. Uh, with those remarks, let me invite Anoop uh, for the FNO queues. Hi Anoop. Hi. Uh, how is it looking uh, from the FNO data point of view and uh, given that we have a major events, uh, how should one be positioned to play these events one after the other? Looking at the data points, uh, markets were on a very extremely strong foot on uh, Friday. We saw that there was huge IV decay happening in uh, put options across the board from 4800 to 5300 on Wednesday and the same pattern was followed on Friday when Nifty was up around 2%. Or, uh, 2%. Uh, what is important is that uh, after opening up today maybe above 5400 mark, we should be able to sustain the, that momentum and that will largely depend on the, some of the uh, prime banking names because banking is a heavy, uh, having a heavy weightage and in index, Nifty index. So let's uh, take a dig at the data. Uh, first of all, Nifty was up around 2% on Friday, which we just spoke about. PCI is still at 1.15 level, which is at a uh, comfort level. It's not at the uh, extremely bullish level. It's not at the uh, very uh, you know worrying worrying level of 1.4, 1.5. But uh, it is at a comfort level and market can still give a movement from uh, this level looking at the PCR and the overall options position strike wise. Looking at the 5400 strike which shed around 3% open interest with a fall in IV. There was uh, some addition in happening in 5600 strike which is now at 51.65 lakh shares and this gives me a sense that if market uh, manages to close above that 5425-5430 mark which is uh, options equilibrium since expiry. That is, uh, options ch uh, chain is breaking even at 5430 levels since expiry. Then we might well move towards 5520 to 5600 all levels where we will find some stiff resistance coming in. And uh, given that we have an event heavy week, that uh, it might be possible that 5520, 5530 might just act as a strong resistance going ahead. Looking at the put side, uh, 5200 and 5300 strike added a huge open interest. 5300 strike, as you can see, is uh, uh, having around 61.61 lakh shares in open interest, which is up 24.36% uh, since since last trading sessions uh, with a rise in IV. So there was some rise in IV happening in put options on Friday, but the rise in IV was not as big uh, as to give me a uh, worrying sign. Maybe once we open towards uh, 5400 and above, then we might see some ha happening in 50, uh, activity happening in 5400 strike as well, and then we'll decide the course uh, going at from there. Looking at the uh, sum up, Nifty has seen some build up happening in 5600 strike uh, of call options, whereas there was some good build up in 5200, 5300 put options also. SDX is now trading up around 28 points, uh, that is at 5400. 
Position support for Nifty will be somewhere close to 5340, uh, which is just 57 points uh, above the uh, previous close. Intraday support for Nifty will be somewhere close to 5370, that will be 30 35 points on the opening quote. Intraday resistance will be somewhere close to 5425 to 546. So, as we talked about, 5425 happened to be the options equilibrium uh, since expiries. On the stocks front, uh, Bank of Baroda, Exide Industries, HPCR and Petronet looks good. Bank of Baroda is currently uh, to, uh, trading at around 815 odd levels. It might open up by around a couple of percent, maybe somewhere close to 830. From there on still it's a buy. One can look to buy Bank of Baroda between 825 to 830 for a uh, finance target of 860 to 880 levels. Exide Industries, one stock is looking interesting. Uh, at CMP of 140, one can look to buy Exide with a couple of percent stop loss for a target of 148 to 155. HPCL, which is uh, closing at 304 on Friday, has shed a uh, 15 to 20% open interest with couple of percent price rise. So one can trade HPCL long with a stop loss of 297 for a target of 315 to 335. Petronet is another stock which is which has shed around 25 to 30% open interest in six Friday with 3% price rise. So one can trade Petronet on a long side with a stop loss of 162 for a target of 170 to 175 odd levels. Thanks, I will hand back to Himan for. Uh, Technical check. Thanks. Thanks, Anup, for that update. Uh, now we'll do a technical check with Jatin. Hi, Jatin. Uh, we had seen a very strong uh, markets, uh, particularly the banking stocks were up almost about five to seven percent, and we have also managed to close above important uh, levels. So, given that we are going to have a pop up uh, today morning, how does one play this market, and are there important levels to watch out for? And particularly for the rate sensitives like banking, real estate, uh, how does one really position uh, to take advantage of the volatility? Good morning everyone. Time for a technical update on the markets. In the last trading session, we see we saw a huge gap up opening of 80 points on the Nifty. During the day, it consolidated the gains and ending the day with an impressive 113 point gain on the Nifty and 357 points on the Sensex. The market breadth was extremely positive was extremely strong with advanced decline ratio of 3 is to 1. Moving on to the daily charts, we can observe that after retracing 38.2% of the entire rise, Nifty has found support at the upper trend line of the falling channel within which it was trading. It is trading below its 20 uh, daily moving average and above its 40 daily moving average. 5250 will act as a crucial crucial support for the nifty in the immediate run 5390 will act as a crucial resistance for the nifty in the immediate run the momentum indicators have given an uptick which indicates sign of strength moving on to the hourly charts we can observe that nifty has broken the falling uh, channel pattern and has given a closing above and has given a closing above the upper resistance trend line which is positive for, for the nifty on the hourly charts. The momentum indicators have given a fresh buy signal which is also a positive. It is trading above its 20 and 40 daily moving averages which will act as crucial supports for the nifty. Over, overall we expect the nifty to take, take resistance at 53.90 and crucial support coming in at 50 to 50 odd levels. Moving on to stock specific ideas, Coal India looks positive for the day as it has broken the upper resistance trend line and has closed above it with above average volumes. The next stock is ICICI Bank. We are expecting ICICI Bank to trade positively for the day. Thanks Adit for that update. Uh, now we will do a fundamental news check uh, with Nirav. Uh, hi Nirav, please run us through the important news uh, and the implications for those talks in the market today. Uh, good morning. Uh, as as Suresh said, uh, on, on, on Friday, RBI cut uh, CRR by seven, 75 bits. The market expectation was about 50 bits. So, uh, obviously, this is this is positive uh, for, for the banks. This would uh, have two benefits. One, uh, it would cut the cost of funds for the banks by about 10 basis points. Also, uh, with the CRR cut, we could see uh, some treasury gains in Q4 uh, FI12. So, we believe uh, this is positive for the banking stocks. Uh, 
the IIP numbers are expected today. Uh, the IIP is expected uh, at 2.1%. Uh, uh, this would be up from 1.8% uh, uh, in, in the preceding month. Uh, also, uh, in the news front, uh, Mahindra has won. Uh, Mahindra and Mahindra has won uh, arbitration award uh, against a former U.S. distributor, uh, Global Vehicles USA. Now, uh, this would this would uh, mean that uh, Mahindra and Mahindra would not be able to uh, sell its uh, uh, sell its uh, goods in uh, in the U.S. So, we believe this is a positive uh, for the stock. We also came out with two updates on uh, on Friday. Uh, one was uh, Bharti. Uh, we 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 went through the number Numbers of MTN, uh, we believe that uh, uh, in, in the numbers we could see that MTN is uh, accelerating its uh, capex plans. So we believe that uh, this would uh, this would put pressure on the Africa uh, performance. Uh, also, the TRAI stance on the spectrum uh, is also uh, a, a, a negative for Bharti. So we believe that in the short run, uh, Bharti could uh, underperform. Uh, currently, we have a buy rating on the stock with a price target of 450. Also, uh, Mahindra and Mahindra uh, cut its tractor uh, production by two days. This is mainly uh, 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 to uh, normalize the excess uh, inventory. If, uh, if, you, if you see, my M and M has been losing market share uh, in the uh, in the tractor market. Uh, on the back of the cut in production, uh, we have downgraded our FI 13 and 14 uh, uh, estimates. Uh, we maintain our hold rating on the stock with a price target of uh, 759. Thank you. Thanks, Neera, for that update. Uh, so, friends, as to sum it up, uh, we are going to have a uh, gap up opening as SGX Nifty is suggesting that uh, you know it's coding at about uh, 5400, 05, 5410, about 30 odd points uh, pop up there. Uh, and in terms of the other news, we also have a news that uh, the government is going to announce uh, allocation of further coal blocks, uh, which could have some positive uh, uh, sentimental impact on coal India. And as our technical desk also feels that uh, the stock is looking good, so one can uh, play for that move. Also, uh, there are reports that the government is considering the uh, FPO of Naivali Lignite, uh, and they would actually start the divestment uh, process once again, probably the next fiscal after the fiasco of ONGC. So Naivali Lignite could be one stock uh, that one will have to watch out for. Also friends, uh, the government has reversed the ban on the uh, exports of cotton, uh, which could have some positive implications for stocks like Irwin Mills. So we will have to really watch out for that. Uh, also friends, there are news that uh, Mr. Anil Ambani has sold uh, 8% uh, stake in Nandi infrastructure for 300 crore valuing the company at 4000 crore. So uh, uh, BF utility uh, could be the stock in action today on the back of this news. Uh, that's it uh, in terms of news friends and overall uh, we have given you a broad range of about uh, 5200 for Nifty on the way down and about 5600, 5650 on the way up. So we believe that if market opens up very sharply then you know one shouldn't really be aggressive enough uh, to get into the long position with those remarks uh, we'll end the session here we'll see you tomorrow at the same time thank you for watching